flashes. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival edition of Hit Record and the Movies. We got, um, we got Hollywood in Canada here tonight. This is probably the most industry-heavy uh, Hit Record show we've done so far. And uh, by industry, I guess I mean, you know, the Hollywood movie industry, which is interesting. This is Hit Record at the Movies. Generally, Hollywood's not too keen on people, um, you know, pressing the record button when you come into the movie theater. <laughs> but uh, this is a little bit of an experiment of what else the movies could be if it were a little different and uh, not just about you guys sitting and watching me, but, uh, but us all maybe like making something together. So tonight, you know, we're gonna, um, we're gonna make some things, we're gonna show some things, and uh, hopefully I see lots of people have got their cameras, that's excellent. If you, uh, if you get some good shots, some good photos, some good clips, some good videos, put them up on the site. That's um, hitrecord.org. And, uh, and we'll use them. And we, we use the stuff that we make at these shows and, and put them in the art that we then show at the next show. So, um, let's see. Uh, how many people, I'm curious, of the people here, how many people have like been to our site and kind of know what we do? And like, oh, all right. It's good. It's good. That's more enthusiasm than I was expecting, to be honest. That's excellent, thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. Um, so, uh, so I think you guys probably didn't know the deal. Um, this is gonna be a, a little bit of a shorter show than we normally do, because it's 11 o'clock at fucking night, and I know a lot of you guys have uh, you know, other parties to go to and whatnot, but really, thank you for coming. I, I really appreciate you, you being here, because you could be uh, anywhere. There's a lot of shit going on here tonight. Um, so without any further ado, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play you one or two things that we've made before. Uh, this first one is, uh, started, um, at last year's Sundance, and, uh, hundreds of people worked on it, it's, uh, I'm really proud of it, it's, uh, it's called Morgan and Destiny's 11th Date at the Zeppelin Zoo. <laughs> Morgan and Destiny's 11th date, the Zeppelin Zoo. <clears throat> Twas a shiny bright earth spin, and the up over was a sheeny cabaltic blue fest. High up top the big smoke, the Zeppelin Zoo whisked through the geogas. It was a balloonic arc, a sky safari, and extra factly on this specificated earth spin, it was the date place for our man Morgan M. Morganson and his love buddy, Destiny. The passion pair love strolled through the animalian paw tangled. Their sea globes met flit tweets bar locked, fin beasts tanked and primates prisonized. Destiny superlated the snuffalux, lollified the long necks, and rapturized the black masked rare bears as they bamboozled. Bag hidden in Destiny's paw pouch, Madame Bollifer, Destiny's pamperfied purr pet, sea peeped over bag, then re-snuggled backwards, disimpressed. The love buddies proximated themselves to Rare Bear's treat buggy, and there, costumated as a monochromic Rare Bear, stood the food penguin, lemon-faced as ever. The duo partook in a pair of pink fluff pops. Destiny masticated her sugar stick saxifragously, leaving Morgan haberdashed. So hornified was he that he was blinkerfied to the slinkish arrivement of Lionel. Destiny's pre-now love buddy and a cognified smarmerific lothariator. Morgan spit.